hello, hello, and happy Sunday to all of my Aquarius, all of my water bearers. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your general reading. This reading is for the remainder of December. Aquarius, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. So Aquarius, we are still feeling the effects of the first quarter moon in Pisces. So please, please, please do not allow yourselves to get emotionally overwhelmed by any by things that's going on in your personal life or your professional life or just in your universe as well especially other people's universe please don't let allow allow people to dump their issues into your universe okay just protect your energy is what i'm saying in short just continue protecting your energy on the 6th of december mercury enters uh, Capricorn. So that's where you may start feeling like you're getting a little bit more serious about like, let me, let me get real serious about, um, what I, you know, what, what I want my life to look like. You may assume that it's because we're coming towards, you know, 2023 is not that far away, but also these planets have play a role in it as well. So, um, Capricorn is ruled by Saturn, which is one of your co-ruling planets, which is one of your ruling planets as well. It's a very serious, it's a very authoritative, uh, planet. So somebody is starting to get a lot more serious about their lives a lot more serious about their lives and not allowing things to weigh you down, right? Here's the Wheel of Fortune. This is attached to Jupiter. Jupiter is not retrograde right now. It's the planet of good luck and good fortune. That's right. So source is saying to you, hey, however long it took for you to get serious about your life, you know, that's okay. Here we have the moon card. Here we have the moon card. Some of you all could have been in a um, in a tricky relationship in the past, but let's continue moving forward. We'll talk a little bit about that in a second. We have the King of Wands. We also have the Ten of Wands. We also have the Three of Wands, right? And also the Queen of Cups, right? So some of you all may have, um, I won't say you were playing nice with somebody or people from the past, but it's, it's you like right now, somebody feels like playtime is over. You know, I, I get, I'm a, I'm a very compassionate person. I, not only am I an air sign, but I'm also a water bearer. So that means I got extra water to give. So you're in human form. We're all divine spirits in human form. And our bodies are comprised of over 50% what over 50% water. So it's not like you don't have water. It's not like you don't have emotions, right? Through your blood, sweat, and tears, your emotions, right? So... You are a very compassionate person. And so you don't have to get down off of your throne anymore. Somebody is continuing to inspire people. You are continuing to light a flame up under people, right? But this is how clear things are becoming to you, somebody, and they want, and because you, somebody wants to be booked and busy. This is how clear things are coming to somebody. Um, when you weigh the pros and cons of things, right? When you think about things that may have happened in your past, some ugly things that people said about you behind your back did to you, you know, and they didn't think you knew it, but in, um, intuitively you knew things and you just didn't speak on certain things. You said, uh-uh, nope, I'm going to keep on leaving that energy behind me and I'm going to keep on moving forward, right? Um, so, and I'm, I'm still compassionate towards people. I haven't lost my compassion towards mankind. I'm going to continue inspiring people, but I'm not going to be burdened by things that happened in the past. You know, people saying and doing very ugly and mean spirited things to you all. Again, not putting anybody in victim mode, but you all have been a victim of things in the past, Aquarius. And so this is where you're saying, no, I'm actually, I'm a survivor of things. Now it's time for me to thrive and get booked and busy get booked and busy. So I see somebody expecting expansion all over in every area of their lives and your love life, if that's what you want. And love life also means agape love and your friendships. Like I want to have friends that genuinely love me, not people who are just in my life for what they can get from me, use me and then talk about me and, and talk negatively about me behind my back. Some of you all um, are starting to understand the importance of your water. The seriousness of when I talk about your water, keeping that water covered and only sharing it with whoever source assigned to you. And sometimes it's not easy of just like and, until you really learn how to train, like really listen to your intuition, which is source inside of you, Aquarius, and keep that third eye open, like really keep that third eye open, pay attention, be 
be aware of what doesn't feel good versus what does feel good going by your beliefs in things. You don't have to always physically see things. You can still have compassion towards people, but some of you all didn't realize why you were so easily triggered is because you were overly, you were still giving too much water to people who have done things to you, did dirty, grimy things to you in the past, right? But Source gave you some time to snap out of it. So isn't that nice that Source is so gracious that says, okay, yeah, you can still have compassion towards the person. You understand it. You get it. You're seeing it from both sides. You understand why certain people are the way that they are, but will they have access to you anymore? Nope. You've turned off the water valve because their energy, every time you think about them or talk about them, you know, it's almost like this, you know, you got to remember the good and the bad memories. So I do see that changing. So that's what the seriousness, somebody's getting real serious about. Listen, I can see some of you all telling certain people, it could be about, you know, your child's mom or child's dad or an ex-friend or old job. Listen, let's take that conversation off the table. You know, I, 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 um, I value whoever you're talking to. I value our friendship. I value our relationship too much to even waste energy on talking about something from the past. I don't need to know how they're doing, if they have kids, if they got married. That's, I, I, that's none of my concern. I'm focusing on moving forward. I, I don't want to be contaminated by that anymore. Right. And so somebody is using this sword the right way. So again, Source is saying, you got expansion all over you. Here we have the Magician card. Clear messages coming through. Six of Cups. Ace of Cups. We also have the Six of Pentacles. Okay, now the Queen of Pentacles and the Six of Swords. Yeah. So um, the Magician card lets me know that clear messages are coming through. Matter of fact, Mercury enters Capricorn on the Six, and this is attached to Mercury. Clear messages are coming through already. We don't even have to wait until the Six. Somebody is like really serious about saying, hey, if they did or said anything ugly or grimy or they, their actions were just low vibrational towards me in the past, I may have, the only reason it was tricky for me is because I was being overly, like I'm, I'm compassionate towards them, but I was overly nurturing something. I'm not nurturing it anymore. Matter of fact, I'm tossing out all that water and I'm operating in faith. I'm literally operating in faith, right? And so some of the people who, um, some of the people are still having those same conversations about you behind your back, but you've already sailed away. Your ancestor says, come on, we out of here. Sail away. You sailed away from it. You to toss them out all the water and somebody has some fresh water, right? Fresh water. Matter of fact, where I'm seeing now is that the moment, if I believe this is how highly intuitive you all are, Aquarius. If I believe you're talking about me nasty behind my back or you're you're plotting and planning on me behind my back, you can think I'm being paranoid or crazy. It doesn't even matter. Been there, done that. I need to toss it out and operate in faith. I need to, and, and so it's so let me just make sure. Let me slow down so it's not seemingly that cut and dry. Of course, obviously, you're gonna go to source and say, you know, source, expose it. I don't want to have to feel this way about X, Y, and Z, but I've been here before and I know it took me down this long and arduous journey. I don't want to go there anymore. Part of it was because somebody was looking for somebody's approval. Somebody was looking for somebody's approval, right? Could have had to do with, you know, making money. Maybe you didn't make as much money as maybe they compared you to somebody else. or maybe you didn't belong to a particular, you know, particular organization, sorority or fraternity or some other kind of organization. Maybe, you know, you didn't have certain degrees or you weren't in some kind of in crowd or whatever it was, but sources like I already approved you. You don't have to worry about that. Right. And so I do see your money increasing as a result. Matter of fact, we haven't seen the five of swords come out here. Yay. Because you've already, somebody has already opened up their vault. Your, your, um, your resources are on the come up, meaning more people are con wanting to connect with you to help you with things. This could be a person wanting to help you build your website. This could be a person who, you know, wants, uh, wants to refer you to a company that's hiring. This could be a person who wants you to be a part of whatever it is. It doesn't matter what it is. It's more resources coming your way. You know, you meeting people 
at a higher frequency because you've decided I'm, I'm sailing away from trying to prove anything to certain people. I don't need to prove anything to anybody. I've already been approved by source, right? By source. Let's see what else we got going on here. Let's see what else we have going on here. Let's see what else we have going on here. Seven of Cups. So you got a lot of temptations coming your way. You got temptations and love coming your way, temptations and opportunities to make more money. And again, if you had stayed connected or if you continue staying connected to certain energies where you are over watering or over nurturing their universe, like giving them every kind of excuse under the sun. Well, the only reason why they did that is because that's the way they were raised or, you know, or that you keep giving them excuses. Every good opportunity that's trying to come your way and it's coming your way very, very fast, you're going to be side eyeing it because now, okay, this is too good to be true. I wonder if this person is going to hurt me like these people back here before. Why can't good people come across your life because you're a good person, Aquarius? Why can't good opportunities come across your path because you're a good person? You've been putting so many good energies out into the universe. Now these, these energies are coming back your way. So why would you let this energy right here continue contaminating your universe and causing you to doubt and question yourself? You were the one to put out good energy into the universe and it's coming back to you. So yeah, now it's time for you to collect your, you know, collect. It's time for you to collect. So that's why I said source has given you some time. It's, it's like when I look at your cards here, Chris, it's like somebody has gotten sick and tired of being sick and tired of being emotionally overburdened with something. Every time I think about the number of times this energy or these energies burn me, I just get overwhelmed and drained. And Source was like, well, then put all of that down. Put those fires out. Burn that bridge to a crisp. Cut that thing off for good so that you're now building new bridges with new people. New energies, new money, people, places, and things, right? So that's what I'm seeing for you all, Aquarius. I'm telling you, a lot of people don't have to wait until the first of the year. People are still you know, talking about resolutions. You can change. You can do it today. You can make a decision today. That's it. I'm not talking about so-and-so anymore. And anybody that's trying to bring that information to you, you are running the risk of me cutting you off. I'm trying to be booked and busy. I'm trying to be booked and busy. I'm operating in faith. I'm on a totally different frequency. Watch how lighter somebody feels. Your sleep patterns are going to get better. You're not going to feel like, okay, I'm tossing and turning. I can't sleep. Every time I have to talk to this person, it's bringing, it's reminding me of this person. You know, it could be every time I talk to my adult child, I got to be reminded of their, the other parent. Or every time I talk to, you know, uh, my parent, I got to be reminded of what my siblings did behind my back or whatever. If you start telling people, or every time I talk to this colleague I used to work with, I got to hear about the job and triggering all kinds of, all of these triggers going off, right? All of these, these bells, all of these ding, 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 trying to tell you, hey, Aquarius, you have a sword, right? You can cover your water. You can take that sword out. You can just cut the conversation short. No, we don't. That's off the table. I value our friendship. I value our relationship too much. I don't want to talk about my sibling. I don't want to talk about your mom or dad. I don't want to talk about, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to talk about that job. Let's talk about something else. How are you doing, right? <laughs> What's going on in your life? Yeah. So somebody's learning how to build strength. Somebody's learning how to build strength, but you got a lot of good things coming your way, Aquarius, all because somebody has decided to what? Sail away from things that were just deeply disappointing. See, what, what you don't see in the cards and the energy that I'm picking up on is somebody finally, somebody finally realized that I need to stop making excuses for people's behavior. That's just who they are. That's just who they are. I'm not making any more excuses for their behavior anymore. That's just who they are. I try to give them every benefit of the doubt, not anymore. That does not make you less of a humanitarian. It just means that somebody has awakened to the fact that they weren't assigned to you. So again, for somebody, I see, um, I see, like I said, 
some kind of something having to do with money coming your way, the energy of money, right? And your relationships with other people, your resources, obviously on the, on the come up because we're looking at the queen of pentacles, but it's because you are a down to earth, warm spirited, very kind person. So again, when opportunities to make more money come across your path, you're looking at the seven of cups or new friendships come across your path, take your time. Listen to how you feel. Go with what you believe about a situation, right? Show the world the real you. Show the world the real you. I'm talking to you if you have Aquarius anywhere in your chart, including on the cusp of Capricorn and also Pisces. I'm talking to you, talking to you, talking to you, Aquarius, talking to you. Let's see what else we have going on here. Let's see what else we have going on here. Let's see what else we have going on here. 20, I am harmonious. Yes, yeah, somebody is totally in the flow. And here we have, you relate to others on an almost cosmic level, Aquarius. You are dedicated to building harmonious relationships of all kinds. And you have the ability to persuade others to your point of view by using gentle means. Yeah, somebody had let somebody's negativity sit in their water for so long and you were drinking from the water for so long it was affecting all of your relationships it was affecting your your new relationships because i wonder if people i wonder if there was any validity or truth to what this person said about me and i wonder if i really come across that way toss all of that water out i wonder what my my child's father or mother said about me my, my um part my ex-partner or my you know whatever said about me i wonder if there was any validity to it I wonder if what this person said, what, about, what my job said about me, I wonder if that was true. Toss it out. Toss it all out. Toss it all out. And operate in faith. That's what Source wants you to operate in faith. It's a brand new day, right? You don't have to wait until the end of the month to say, okay, here's my New Year's resolution. You can do it today. Do it today. All right, bliss. That's what I'm talking about. Affirmations for bliss. I liberate my highest self. My life is full of wonderful surprises. I am free to be me. I express my individuality. I am grateful for my unique qualities. I see the beauty in the highs and lows of life. I am connected to all that is. I am grateful for silver linings. Yes, the silver linings that those people who talked about you behind your back and they were wishy-washy, they no longer have access to you. That's the silver lining. So now you can make room for, for new friends, for new love interests, for new jobs, for new whatever, right? Here's your, um, here's your questions. Here's your questions. And like I said before, uh, let, me, let me share one, one last thing with you before we go ahead and close out. So somebody has poured out a lot of your, um, a lot of emotion into something, right? And so now it's time to flush those things out with sacral chakra music, right? And you can also get gemstones that for your sacral chakra. Orange carnelian is good. It increases passion, joy, creativity, motivation, and feminine energy. Um, moonstone is also good because it assists looking inward. It calms and stabilizes emotions, right? Coral is also good. It enhances feminine fertility and passion. It balances emotions. Um, fire opal is also good um, because it um, accesses the subconscious. It releases attachments. It um, fires up that kundalini and fires up joy. Uh, it, it cures dehydration. And let me, let me also, because we're talking about water here. This seven of cups right here, again, at a low frequency, somebody has had a kundalini experience where you've been bitten by snakes, not just one, several snakes, right? Awakening after awakening after awake, because that's what snakes represent, the awakening, right? Awakening after some of them have been worse than others. And source is saying to you, you have to be able to discern. I'm tossing out all of the snakes for one, but you have to be able to discern which, were, which ones were sent to awaken you. Some of those awakenings were people coming to you, gossiping, telling you, oh, guess what so-and-so said about you or whatever. And you just knew awakening right then and there. Okay, I can't tell this person anything because they can't hold water versus this one over here who's smiling in your face and always talking about you behind your back, trying to get you fired, you know, trying to stop your money, trying to do all kinds of stuff, right? And so you're tossing all of that energy out because you don't want those snakes around you, period. But again, you're not... You're, 
but you got to be careful not to become them. And if you and you would become them if you let that energy, if you don't just go ahead and cut those relationships off, right? So again, like I said, fire opal, um, it fires up your kundalini and joy, right? And because again, somebody's poured out so much water, it also cures dehydration and water retention, right? And so orange calcite is another one for your sacral chakra. It lifts energies and spirit. It, it clears emotional and reproductive issues. It balances sexual energies. Amber is also good. It promotes emotional ease. It protects from energetic invasion. It nurtures creativity. It reduces stress. It also heals wounds. So these gemstones and crystals actually have a lot of healing properties. So this is your sacral chakra right here. But also... Um, in the in the area of uh, the six of swords, this uh, sword energy is air energy. We're talking about your heart chakra. This right here, I always point to this right here. This rose quartz, it helps foster forgiveness and self love. It strengthens the heart, right? And so it's it's if you want new love in terms of friendships coming your way, Aquarius, you can have that. You don't have to always assume I can't, you know, I, you know, sometimes I hear women say, you know, I don't, I can't be friends with other women. I'm like, whoa, what? <laughs> of course you can, right? You just, some of, some people just got to get rid of the ones that's in their life right now. That's been backstabbing, smiling in your face and, and not necessarily looking at the number of years you've been connected to that person, but okay, I need to get rid of you. I can't trust you. I'm on a higher frequency. We're not talking about the same things anymore. Right. Um, so again, forgiving people, I forgive you because that's for me. That's not for them. And, but I got to let you go. I, I got to move on from that. Right. And I, I don't need to look for people's approval. Source has already approved you. So that's how you're freeing up time, that energy. Your time is your currency. And, and you are now using it because, again, more money is coming somebody's way because now you have time. You have, you have space to receive it, right? We have a full moon in Gemini coming up on the 8th. So, so everybody is clear on the 6th. Or leading up to the six, which we're leading up to the six now, somebody's starting to get more serious about every area of their lives, right? Every area, personal life, professional, whatever, and every other area in between, right? But on the eighth, we have the full moon in Gemini. Here's some questions you may want to jot down for that because Gemini is a mutable sign. It's a changeable, it's a, uh, it's a mutable, it's an adaptable sign, it's a changeable sign. It's a social butterfly, right? And so... Um, a moon in Gemini is that portal in the universe. It gives us that like flipping of the switch and changing, um, life in an, in an instant. And you want to change life in an instant in a good way, right? So if there's some people in your life that, you know, if this is a kind of a tricky relationship, you don't have to wait till the first of the, the year or the first of January, the first of the month or the first of the year in this case to go ahead and sever ties. It's like, you know what, this thing has been tricky. You know, I need to make, I need to get serious about my universe. I can't change other people. We don't have that power. So I can just go ahead and sever it. I need to turn off the water valve when it comes to something. Um, so here are the questions for you that you want to ask yourselves. One, do you feel there's an area in your life that you need in, in need of radical change, whether it's work, your relationship, well-being or home? Second question is, what is getting in the way of you changing your story? The third question is, how could you inject more childlike curiosity into your life? The fourth and last question is, who are the five people you could get in, con in touch with um, who could help you on your journey? And so when I'm talking about people, I'm including even your ancestors, because some people may look around and say, I don't even have five people I can contact. OK, don't get discouraged, including your ancestors. Right. Um, but those are some, some serious questions you want to ask yourself, like in getting more serious about all of the relationships in your life, not just the relationship with money, not just the relationship with family members or friends. Oh, we're talking about future relationships as well. Right. So I do see somebody booked and busy. I do see more money coming across your path because you're not looking for you're not looking for uh, humans approval. You already have it from source. And I see things coming at you fast. 
love coming your way. So look up when you're in the grocery store. Look up when you're at the gas station. Pay attention to your surroundings. Somebody's looking at you. Somebody's paying attention. You know, if a, if a, if um, a, if a person who has already decided, hey, I want to make some new friends. If somebody walks up to you and says something, a compliments, don't look at them like they have a, you know, like <laughs> they're a cyclops. At least speak back. That doesn't mean you made an instant friend. If somebody starts a conversation with you in a grocery store or whatever, and you all have something in common, it doesn't necessarily mean you got to exchange numbers, right? But as, like I said before, get as far away from the energies that you know for certain, or even you, you either know for certain or you believe are tricky. You don't need any more tricky relationships in your life. And this is not even about just going into 2023. We're talking about as of you watching the video. So that is what I have for you, Aquarius. Thank you for watching this. Let me see if we had any other. Let's see if we had any other. Oh, let me let me see if we got some some more messages here. Oh, wow. Yeah, we do got some more messages here. We got some more messages. We got some more cards to pull, some more cards. Let's see what else we have going on here. Let's see what else we have going on here. See if there's some more messages, Aquarius. Whew. I was like, it doesn't look like it's enough cards out here. Hold on. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Let's see what else we have going on here. Yeah, Ten of Swords. We have the Five of Pentacles. We have the Nine of Swords. There's that Five of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, and also the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah. So the way that you're going to go from the Five of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles is not care about what people, you know, not looking for people's approval. Some people want, you know, people to think, hey, I come from a solid family too, or, you know, well, we're, we're smart enough, or we have X, Y, and Z sources. Like, you don't need their approval. You are, this is the key to your vault door, not theirs. <laughs> this is your key. It's not theirs. So source is taking you from the five of pentacles to the ten of pentacles. So when people say, well, where's all of this money that's supposed to be coming across my path? It's not a, just about money, as you can see in the ten of pentacles here. This is also about you creating your definition of family in your universe, right? And then also there's wealth attached to that, right? Talented people in your family, talented connections, gifted, talented people in your connections. You And I see somebody continue working very, very hard, but source is also saying, don't go out and start frivolously spending money trying to, trying to impress people either. Just continue working very hard. You don't need to spend any extra money trying to impress people. So it's just trying to put money in your pocket. Don't, don't keep taking it out of your pocket, right? And so something has caused a lot of sleepless nights worried about something. Somebody was in fear of them being alone. But Source is like, those, those days end right now. You don't have to fear being alone because you're cutting certain people off. Source is actually doing you a favor. That's part of you being even more empowered, Right? So again, you sailing away from something, you know, that you may have been nervous. Okay, this person, is, they're not going to speak to me anymore. They're not going to, whatever. Hey, problem solved. Problem solved. But that is what I have for you, Aquarius. Thank you so much for joining me. Again, uh, you have a lot of, there's a lot of sacrifices that I'm looking at here in the cards. The sacrifice of the fear um, you're sacrificing fear for faith. That's what I'm seeing here in the six of cups, like the fear that if I leave certain energies behind that don't have favorable things to say about me or the relationship is tricky or, you know, they, if I cut this person off, then this person is not going to want to talk to me or be connected to me either. I see a lot. I see a lot of major changes happening there. A lot of major changes happening there. So again, um, Show the world the full, the, the, um, the real you and let everybody else see what you know to be true, which is that you are a humanitarian, that you're open-minded, that you are a very powerful, um, a very powerful divine spirit that's having a human experience. That is what I have for you as you move towards your life of bliss, as you continue moving towards your life of bliss. Yeah. So queen of pentacles, six of pentacles, five of pentacles, 10 of pentacles, four of pentacles, knight of pentacles. And look, source is like, it's almost like source and I'm giving you back all the time and energy that you poured out into this worried about impressing people when you've always had the key to your own vault. 
All you had to do was look up and just thank source that certain energies no longer have access to you anymore emotionally or in some in some cases physically. And that's that's what opened up your vault door. Right. That's what I have for you. Thank you for joining me again. This is a general reading. Take only what resonates with you. If you're interested in a personal reading, my information, my information is down below. Remember, Aquarius. Me or no member of my team will ever send you solicit for a donation because I, I saw that a lot of you all have been sending me messages from uh, Instagram saying that somebody who's posing as me, whose last name is spelled R-A-A and mine is R-A, um, is um, reaching out to you to do personal reading. We don't do that. <laughs> we don't do that. You guys have my information down below. If you If you want to know if it's me, you can text me, right? You can text me. You got my number. All my information is there. My scheduling information is below and whatever. We don't, we don't solicit donations and I would never reach out to you all, any of my, anybody to, to ask you if I could do a personal reading for you. So anyway, that's what I have for you. Again, welcome to opening up your vault. You're not looking for anybody else's approval. You're not trying to get into anybody else's family, club, group, none of that stuff because that key doesn't open up your vault. You have the key to opening up your vault. And so look up, look up and just say to source, thank you. Thank you for exposing energies around me. Now I can go ahead and get my sword out or my blowtorch in some instances and just go ahead and sever ties for life, um, you know, with some energies so I can move on. I'm no longer afraid of who I'm going to lose or who's going to, who's not going to talk to me or who's not going to want to be my friend or talk about me, run smear campaigns or whatever. I'm no longer afraid of that. That's what I have for you. So Continue allowing source to expose energies around you so that to give you an opportunity to remove those energies so that source can replace it. So that source can replace it. Okay. Whether that's a job, a person, like I said, a person, place, a thing. That's what I have for you, Aquarius. I will see you on Motivational Monday. Bye.